first off, I'd like to give a little background uh, about the crisis. On August 28th, 2009, a uh, car crash that killed four people in California was the result of an uncontrollable acceleration problem with a Lexus model car, uh, which sparked an investigation by the National Highway Safety Traffic Administration. Uh, this investigation resulted in Toyota recalling 4.2 million vehicles. Uh, the original problem was thought to be with one of the floor maps, which was later found to be false. Uh, it has been made public that Toyota has ignored customer complaints and that the public is concerned about the company's slow reaction to the crisis. I will be assuming the role of a public relations representative from Toyota giving a press release on February 23rd, 2010. First, I would like to say thank you to all of you for coming to this press release. It has been five months since our first recall addressing the unexpected acceleration problems with our cars. Over these past months, we at Toyota have been working diligently with our engineers and software specialists to identify the true problem. We have used this information to address our customer complaints and fix any issues that our products have placed upon our customers. So let me begin by summarizing our company's recent actions in regards to this unfortunate situation. Toyota has long been known for producing safe and reliable cars throughout the decades. Recently, there have been several incidents with unexpected acceleration problems in some Toyota and Lexus model cars. Recalls were issued on 4.2 million models to address the problem. An article from MotorTrend.com quoted the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Uh, who stated that their investigation revealed that these problems were due to incorrect floor mats being placed over the acceleration pedal, causing it to stick. Additional recalls were also issued in a timely manner to address more customer complaints and problems with sticky acceleration pedals. Customers have begun to raise concerns over the timeliness of our actions to these problems. In response, our CEO, Akio Toyota, said the company is moving quickly on all global recalls, uh, according to CBS News. These last months have been difficult for our customers. It should be known that everyone at Toyota is continuing to see that our customers come first. I want to ensure that the public knows that Toyota's actions are based around the customer. I would like to begin by apologizing on behalf of Toyota for the worries we have placed upon our customers. Toyota's press room webpage states that we deeply regret the concern that our recalls are causing for our loyal customers. Trust and satisfaction is our top priority and we intend to maintain this connection with the public. We know that our apology alone is not enough and that something must be done to correct this situation. Our company, since the beginning, has made efforts to alleviate the stress and worries the public has. We have done this by issuing comprehensive recalls and will continue to issue appropriate recalls on all models that have been deemed unsafe to ensure customer safety. Toyota has already issued recalls on more than 5 million cars to fix problems with uncontrollable acceleration. As stated in our update on Toyota.com, with regards to our recalls, we are currently in the process of fixing vehicles to remedy the issue of pedal entrapment. Now, critics of Toyota have suggested that our company has shown a lack of initiative in resolving issues with our products. This is not true. Toyota issued warnings to dealerships in 2002 concerning complaints about problems with acceleration 
in our primary model cars. CNN reported the news bulletin as stating, some 2002 model year Camrys may exhibit throttle surging. The dealerships failed to use this information and address customer problems. The Guardian also reassures that our website states guidance for customers that, in rare instances, there is a possibility that certain accelerator pedal mechanisms may stick in a particular depressed position or return slowly to the idle position. Now that we have expressed our feelings towards the situation and the steps we are taking to resolve the problems, I have some final words. In this press release, I have expressed Toyota's apologetic feelings towards our customers and provided the public with evidence showing our willingness to make things right again. I ask that anyone affected by our decisions consider our apology and remain assured that Toyota will deliver. Thank you.